Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you're at. Welcome to the table with the Cancer Fighters. My name is Kevin Barco, and today we have some fresh salads and seafood that we're going to put together into some great entrees for lunch or dinner. So to start with, we're gonna make a simple lime vinaigrette, if you will. And it consists of a tablespoon of fresh lime juice and also, so it's about a whole lime is what you're gonna need, depending on um, how good the limes are or how juicy they are. But in this case, it looks like about a lime and a half. And then to that, we're gonna add some rice vinegar, which we've uh, pre-portioned out here a little bit. Um, and again, it's a tablespoon of rice vinegar. And we're also going to add uh, some Dijon mustard. With my spatula. Um, and on the Dijon mustard, it's basically two teaspoons. You don't want to overpower it. And um, we're going to add that to there. Um, and we're going to mix it up a little bit. And a fresh shallot um, is perfect for the salad. Um, and again, on that, it's basically a teaspoon of shallot that's small diced. And we're going to take our whip and get that to kind of stirred up a little bit. I have this dressing um, in a small bowl um, on top of fresh crushed ice. And what that does is uh, keeps it very cold for good, for, for starters, and then also helps emulsify the olive oil. And I'm using a extra virgin olive oil for the salad, and we're gonna pour that in gently as we whip it. And again, the, um, the secret to this is really the ice bath underneath it. So we're gonna just kind of hold that bowl uh, against the side of the ice bowl and slowly add the extra virgin olive oil. And you do that slowly so it emulsifies. You don't want the dressing to separate. And it's about a quarter cup of olive oil when you're all done. You don't want it to be too oily. Um, and you want it to be um, a little bit thicker than what a normal oil and vinegar is, obviously. So it's thickening up really nicely. Just a little bit more to make our quarter cup. And it sure smells good. And that's the main ingredients. And to that, we're gonna season it with a little bit of sugar. And that's really um, sugar to taste. So we're gonna start with about a half a teaspoon of sugar for starters. Just a little bit of kosher salt, about roughly an eighth of a teaspoon. And a pinch of black pepper, and I prefer to use fresh ground pepper. And this is about a pinch right there. And you can use a regular uh, table pepper, or if you, if you wanted, you could also use um, a little bit of white pepper. And that is the vinaigrette. It's emulsified really nicely. And a nice bright color and it sure smells good. So we'll put this on our salads today, um, a simple lime vinaigrette. So to this, um, the salad portion of this, we're gonna make a citrus arugula salad. So it's very good. And I might um, mention that when you're making a, a salad with something like arugula, or kale, you want to massage the lettuce. 
before you start. Um, arugula and kale have a little bit of bitter flavor to them when you eat them raw. And when you massage them with a little bit of olive oil and just a pinch, very little pinch of salt, it gets rid of that immediate bitterness on the, on the top of the, the salad. So we're gonna just massage that a little bit, especially important with kale. That's even a little bit more bitter. But kale is so good for you. And it helps the flavor of the salad. Okay, so we've got that little bit of olive oil massaged. And I'm, I'm saying that was about a couple teaspoons of olive oil that were on there. And uh, if you use the right dressing, you'll never know that you did that. But that bitterness kind of uh, goes away. So we're going to put that arugula in our salad bowl. <clears throat> and to that, we're gonna add the fennel. And if, um, if you like fennel, uh, you're gonna love this salad. Fennel is really good for you. Uh, and it's a natural uh, diuretic. You can also use the rest of the fennel, the bulb, and the stem um, when you juice. You can use ju juicing fennel is really good for you. Um, and um, to that, we've cut up some oranges, a blood orange and a regular orange uh, that you'll see in the recipe. And um, we're gonna add both of those. And you can certainly um, use your knife to section off the sections so you don't have any of that skin on, or you can just slice it uh, the easy way, whatever is preferred. Um, the oranges right now that we got, these navel oranges and this blood orange are in season and they're very good. I wanna grab um, some tongs um, and we'll toss this um, in the salad. So we have the uh, arugula, the fennel, and um, the, uh, thank you, the um, citrus, which is blood orange um, and navel orange. We're gonna to toss that gently and get that mixed up. <clears throat> and um, we're gonna then add, um, and by the way, if you're uh, wondering how to slice that fennel so thinly, um, we have a, um, a regular industrial uh, cutter here. Um, you can you can do that right you can edit that out <laughs> start from there if you're wondering how to slice this fennel bowl um i wanted to point out that we have this mandolin and uh mandolins are very dangerous so you have to use a lot of caution but we use it here in the kitchen a lot um they also sell um little home uh, easy peasy uh, mandolins and these are really nice and you can slice these um, easily in your kitchen. You can also um, slice these with your knife and whatever is easiest for you. But the flavor of this fennel is really makes this salad a big hit. Okay? So this is a couple ways you can get that, um, that fennel done. The fennel um, is best really thin, thinly sliced. And that's what the mandolin uh, helps you do. Okay, so now we're gonna add, um, at the last minute, we're gonna add a little bit of that vinaigrette into this salad. You don't wanna overpower this beautiful salad with too much vinaigrette, but we're just gonna add just a little bit. It's probably about three or four tablespoons. This is enough salad for two people. Um, and you can just stop right there and have a very nice salad um, for, for one, just like this for an entree, or um, you can have it for two people. Um, 
and I'd like to plate that up using a larger plate um, for an entree. And again, you can arrange your citrus on top, and this will be uh, all the, the measurements and uh, procedure will be in the recipe. And uh, make sure you have uh, all that fennel, that nice fennel in there. Just kind of stack it up. And what I um, also wanted to add to this salad, especially for dinner, if you wanted to add protein, is a fresh piece of Alaskan cod. This cod um, was fresh, not frozen, and we put it, um, I had the pictures in the recipe, we put it in a cast iron skillet and char grilled to give it that char flavor on our gas, gas range. So it can be done outside on your grill, inside on a cast iron, um, but that certainly gives it uh, a nice texture and nice flavor. And you can see by the freshness of this fish, it just opened up and flaked uh, ever so nicely. Okay, and it's a, really a, a wonderful piece of fish. And you can get this um, at a good seafood market and some grocery stores do have, have a good seafood market. So this is a six ounce piece of Alaskan cod and you can certainly put it on the salad for dinner or take it in half for lunch and, and make two portions out of this salad uh, for lunch. Um, and that's as easy as it gets. You don't want to overcook um, the seafood. Uh, you want to just um, have it basically on the cod, just just done, like a medium well. Um, and um, it, it turns out really beautiful. Okay, so that is our citrus arugula cod salad. Enjoy.